Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY home decor. For this one, we're going to be needing one enamel mug. And this is the one that I'm using. It's black and has like, to me, they look like stars, but it's not important. But something that is like this, we're going to be painting this anyways. As affordable as you can find it. I'm using this kind of mugs because I like the shape that they have, kind of vintage. Then I'm going to be using some red roses. Mine are from the dollar store and they are obviously fake. You can use natural ones if you want to. Sorry if I sound sick, it's because I am I'm fighting against the flu, but hopefully my voice doesn't sound too weird. Then I'm going to be using some pliers, I'm going to be using some copper acrylic paint, then I'm going to be using some gel acrylic paint as well as some black acrylic paint, and finally I switched, I didn't use this one, I used red instead, and then I'm going to be using this brush and a sponge, I ended up using a sponge as well. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is since my Mac had this tag on it, I'm going to remove it with some cotton and acetone or nail polish remover and it should come right off, it's pretty easy. So to start, I'm going to be painting my mug with my copper acrylic paint and I gave it one coat covering everything, like a bit of inside as well. All that I knew was going to be visible, I just wanted to paint it. And this shade, it was okay, but it wasn't what I wanted or what I was going for. So I ended up mixing uh, these colors to just make a brown acrylic paint because I didn't have acrylic paint in the color brown. If you have brown, just go ahead and use that. And this is how I made it. First, I mixed those colors and I went back and forth with my yellow and red, yellow and red, so on and so forth, until I was happy with with the brown that I was getting and then I started adding some copper as well and then I ended up mixing that mix that I just made with my copper um, acrylic paint to just make it a bit more opaque I felt like that was a bit too red for what I wanted I wanted to go for like an antique copper if you have a copper that you like just go ahead and cover it you don't have to do the extra steps that I just did but to paint it like the final coat I just went first with my brush like covering all and everything and then uh, because I didn't want the strokes to like be that visible I went with my sponge and kind of like did this um, kind of like dabbing a bit. I didn't paint the bottom part because I don't think it's going to be important. I kind of forgot as well, but if you want, you can just go ahead and cover that up. I just took my fake flowers and my pliers and I just cut it as much as I needed. I ended up cutting a lot more than this, as you're going to see right now. It depends on like the base that you're working with, how tall is it, and how tall you want your flowers to be. And yeah, just arrange your flowers as you want them to look. If you want to add fake moss, water, if you're working with fresh flowers. I got inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Flora the Force. In one of her videos, Room Tour, she showed kind of like a home decor corner she had. And I saw a base flower similar to this one. Visit my blog, qsimplestuff.com, if you want to know what video I'm referring to. But I'm obsessed with this combination. I'm loving it. I'm obsessed with that. So yeah, hopefully you like it too. If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know down below. And subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye, guys.